Has this ever happened to you? You're trying to make a delicious meal, and then all of a sudden when you go to taste it, tragedy! What up all my fellow crafty peeps? Hi, my name is Judy, and if you haven't been to my channel before, I do sewing projects and DIY sewing tutorials, like this apron I'm gonna show you guys how to make today with pockets. Super cute. So that way you don't have a traumatic cooking experience like you just saw. So if you want to figure out how to make this, which a beginning sewer can make this, it was very easy, it didn't take you very long at all. Hi Jimmy. Then just stick around and we'll make it together. I just realized you couldn't see him, but he was over here. You ready to make this apron, Jimmy? Yeah. Let's go. For the main body of the apron, you want to start with a piece of fabric that measures 32 by 27 and a quarter inches. Then on one of your 32 inch sides, you want to find the center and measure a 9 inch section right in the middle. Um, before I cut anything, I folded my fabric in half on my halfway mark. Then on the side that is 27 and a quarter inches, you want to measure up 15 and a quarter inches from the bottom of your fabric. Then connect that mark to the mark that is 4 and a half inches away from the center of your fabric with a curved line and cut along that line. Now you should have your main apron piece. You will also need a neck strap piece that measures 4 by 22 inches. If you want one that's a bit skinnier than mine, I would do maybe 3 by 22 inches. You need waist tie pieces that measure 2 by 25 inches each. If you don't have anything that you can use to turn your ties right side out after you sew it later, you'll probably want to cut them a little wider than that. And lastly, you need two pocket pieces that measure 8 by 8 inches. You can do the same fabric as your apron body or have a different color like me because I thought I wouldn't have enough fabric. All right, time to start sewing. Take your neck strap piece and fold it right sides together. Then sew down the edge of your fabric at a quarter inch seam allowance. You will then turn that tube of fabric right side out and you should be able to do this by hand because it should be wide enough. If you end up doing a skinnier neck strap like I suggested, you'll need a loop turner or a chopstick or something to turn it right side out. Now you wanna take your waist strap pieces and do the exact same thing as you did for the neck strap, but start by sewing one end of your strap close as well. I sewed this at a 1 8 inch seam allowance because I thought it would make it easier to turn it right side out by hand. I was very wrong. And here you see me attempt to struggle to turn it out right side out by hand and fail miserably and then I ended up using a skewer. So to turn these straps right side out using a chopstick or a wooden skewer like I did, you're going to push in the sewed end of your tube with your chosen implement and then holding the implement, you're going to keep pushing fabric along it until you get to the end. And then once you have it all pushed right side out, you're gonna shimmy your implement, your chopstick or wooden skewer, or whatever it is you're using out and you will have a finished waist tie. Pocket time. Firstly, you're going to wanna fold one edge of your pockets over to create a half inch seam allowance and you're gonna do this on both pocket pieces. Iron it down to make it stay and then sew across it to create a finished hem. So these sewed ends, these sewed top parts, will now be the top hems of your pockets when you attach them to your main apron body piece. Now I didn't record this next step because I didn't figure it out to do it until after I'd already had one pocket pinned, but the easiest thing to do next is to fold down the rest of the sides of your pockets at a half inch and iron them down, then pin them to your main pocket piece three and a half inches from the outside edge and four and a half inches from the bottom edge. Then sew your pockets to the apron along the three sides to secure it. I sewed it at a quarter inch seam allowance so it didn't have, end up having weird flaps on the outside. Okay, so now if you're planning on adding a lining to your apron like I ended up doing, you're going to want to skip ahead to this time here. If you're going to follow along with the tutorial that I found and skip the lining, then listen up. Okay, to start hemming the apron, I folded the top section down a half inch and ironed it down. Then I picked my neck, pinned my neck strap on and sewed across it to both hem it and secure the neck band. Then I folded over the other edges of the apron a quarter inch and you can attach the waistband straps and sew them in place while you're hemming the rest of the edges of the apron. And then you can be finished! However, if you want to add a lining to it to give it some weight and make it look fancy, listen up. You're going to want to cut out a lining piece that is the same size as your main body, then pin your lining to your main body apron piece wrong sides together. Make sure while you're pinning them together that you pin your waist straps and your neck strap at this time as well, and make sure to tuck them in between your main apron piece and lining pieces. That way, when you turn the apron right side out, they'll be on the outside. Luckily, I realized to do this before I completely sewed in the neck strap on the wrong side. 
Once it's all pinned up, sew around all the edges of the apron at a quarter inch seam allowance, except for the very top where your neck strap is. I did that at a half inch. Make sure to leave about a two or three inch section on the bottom of the apron unsewed so you can turn it right side out when you're done. I would probably do a three, four inch section. It was kind of hard to turn it right side out with my small little hole that I ended up doing. Pull the apron right side out through the hole that you left and then iron the apron nice and flat. Then you're going to want a top stitch around all sides of the apron at an eighth inch seam allowance to make it look super nice and professional. Also, just a suggestion, like I did after I did all of that, I went back over the stitches I put in when I sewed my pockets on to make sure they were sewed to the lining fabric as well as the apron main body fabric so that if I put anything in the pocket, it wouldn't pull away from the lining. Just a suggestion, you don't have to do that, but that's what I did. And now you have an awesome finished apron. Okay, so for some final thoughts. If you want slightly bigger pockets, I would hem the top at a quarter inch seam allowance and fold over your sides at a quarter inch before attaching them to the apron. You might try the apron on with the neck strap pinned on before sewing it down to see if you like the placement of the apron. I ended up making it a tiny bit shorter because I am short. And this was super easy to make and I finished it in half a day even with having to seam rip a couple parts and changing up my plan to add a lining to it. Okay, so I hope that tutorial was helpful and informative and inspires you to go out and make your own apron, whether you just hem the edges or you do a lining like I did to give it some weight, give it some body. But either way, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so and like this video. And make sure you stay tuned for next week because it's going to be interesting. We might get some more clothing, maybe with some really cute fabric. Might have a bonus tutorial in there for you, but you'll have to come back to find out. Bye!